What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are actually doing a do-it-yourself truck build camping setup for the back of our truck. We're gonna go take some measurements and then we are gonna head to the Home Depot and buy the supplies. We are here at the Home Depot. We got the truck build all planned out, mapped out. So we are here to actually pick up the lumber. On this, one, right? this is uh, 23 30 seconds inch should be pretty good this is going to be the platform where we sleep on so this is going on top of the frame because we don't have a table saw at home. So we're gonna get these cut to size and go from there. All right guys, we got the platforms cut right here. A little scrap here we'll use for the drawers and other things like that. So getting closer. Now we're going to get like the supports, the legs, the two by fours, whatever we decide to use there. So. Checking the straightness. That one's pretty warped. Let's try again. We're looking for our two bottom runners right now. That's good. Yeah, that one will work. Staple gun, staples for the carpet. What size of staples are those? They are that size. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get some of this carpet. It's gonna go on the platforms. I think we can get away with just one of these. Looks like it'll fit perfect. So hopefully these are heavy duty enough. They'll be good. Good? Okay. All right guys, we got all the materials here. We are back from the Home Depot and we are ready to start building this thing. First step is gonna be cutting these this two by four down into our legs. So that's where we're gonna start and let's go do it. So this is kind of our system. We just got one, two, three legs. We got this on top. So our flat piece of thick plywood will sit on top of this. Um, and then we're gonna put another one of these in the middle and on the other side. So that's the update and going good so far. All right guys, so we got these three platforms built. Um, we are going to add some supports to the back on each side and then put some carpet on the top platform and then attach that to this. So that's kind of the tentative plan for now. We got these three free floating platforms. These two actually won't be free floating. They're going to be together, but we're getting closer. We'll throw the top on and go from there. We're not quite to this stage, but we're just going to throw this in and just see if we're on the right track here because we probably are going to have to do some custom cuts to go around some of these corners. So we're just going to have to cut this corner like notch it around so we can slide it as close to this as well. We'll also have to do it to that side up there. 
That'll be Nicole's job because she's the artistic one. What do you think? Doing a quick test to make sure it's gonna work. Looks like it's fully supportive and we're on the right track. Now if I can get off without collapsing it, we'll Let's be see. set. It's not screwed in at all, it's just resting. Just don't put your fingers below it. It'd be a disaster. Oh, you're good. <laughs> You made it. About to find out how good Nicole is. I don't know if I'm that good. That guesstimation. I might have to do a second round. Oh, we're close. We're in. Are we in? We're in on this end. This end looks like it's... Oh! It's a fit. <laughs> All right. Nice work. <laughs> yeah, it is. We're pretty centered. Are we? Yeah, we're close. Looks good. Looks pretty good. So we're gonna put some carpet on this, just so no slivers and things like that when we're in here. But yeah, that's awesome. Exciting. Getting closer. Okay, we got the carpet laid out on the tops and we're just going to lay the carpet on top and staple all four corners with about an inch and a half on each side left over so we can tuck those underneath and stretch it all tight and staple the bottom underneath. So let's get going. All right, guys, got them in. Perfect fit. We're still gonna carpet this one, but Nicole carpeted this one. And we're gonna screw this one down, but we're gonna leave this one uh, detachable. So when we're not using this side, we'll take it, put it on top of here. That way we can put e-bikes, coolers, all sorts of stuff right here in this section, because we'll have the whole truck bed, whole half of the truck bed. And then here, we're gonna have our drawer, so we're actually probably gonna call it a night. And then I'm heading out shed hunting in the morning and Nicole's probably gonna build this drawer and carpet this and this thing will be done. So really close and pretty pumped. This thing's gonna be sweet. Okay guys, it's the next day. Skylar's gone today, but I'm going to finish up this truck build. And the next step is to put carpet on the other panels. So I'll set the phone up. You guys can watch me get that done. All right, we got that carpeted and now it's time to see if it's still going to fit. I'm a little bit worried because the carpet had that extra thickness where they layer over the sides. So it's going to be really tight. So we're gonna give this a go and see if we can get it to fit. That's a perfect fit. We have it in here nice and snug. There's no extra space. It's a perfect fit. So the frame is done. Now it's time to do the drawer. And this could be a little more tricky because we're building them completely out of our scrap material. So I'm gonna have to make a plan and see if I can design something that's going to work. So 
Let's get it. These are all just scraps from the two panels that go on the top. So we have two wide ones and two skinny ones. So I'm thinking we'll be able to use these as the sides of the drawer. And we'll use those fat ones as the face and maybe the bottom. I'm going to take one of these scrap pieces, one of these skinny ones, cut it directly in half. This will be the side of the drawer. And then we'll take these two fatter pieces and make the bottom with that and the drawer face. We should have just the right amount to make that happen. So let's get it. Just got our drawer pieces cut out with the jigsaw. Let's get this thing put together. We got this thing about done. Just have to put on the face and the handle and it's done. Let's hope it fits. It's officially done. It probably took us maybe five hours. And we did this very simple with as minimal lumber, as minimal building as possible to make this as easy and as lightweight as possible, but also functional for what we need. This is going to be our ultimate truck camping setup. We're going to be taking this all over the country, doing outdoor adventures, hunting, fishing, hiking, who knows what we'll end up doing, but this is gonna save us a lot of money in hotels and uncomfortable nights, having to pitch the tent at one in the morning or something like that, but we'll get a little mattress, pop it in and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we have the platform, which is just plywood, wrapped carpet around it. This piece is secured. This piece is not. We want to be able to lift this piece off, set it here so we can store bikes, coolers, anything like that, that we just need more space. So this one can come off, move out of the way, give us the full height of the truck. And then here we have our drawer, which is where we'll store all of our camping gear, the little knickknacks we need to keep organized. And yeah, it's pretty simple, but very functional. We made sure to not use excessive wood underneath. We wanted the platform to be as low to the wheel wells as possible, so we had as much room overhead as possible. Here's the drawer. Let's go ahead and push this in. There we go. And it's closed just like that. We'll put a little handle on this bad boy. I have to order one on Amazon. We need a handle that can flip down and not stick out into the tailgate. So that's it. So we're gonna be taking this bad boy all over the place for our adventures. If you guys want to see more of where we're going to take it, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Tell us if you think you have different ideas, add-ons. We'll probably end up adding some things around the windows to for privacy and yeah, if you guys have ideas, drop a comment, like the video, helps the algorithm so that they push our channel to more people. And thanks for watching.